Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone is well. And it has come time. It is Friday. It has come time for the weekend top and bottom of the deck. For those of you who are new here, don't know how I do this, I go by the elements. It is Libra season. <laughs> so we'll start out with the air signs, go around the wheel accordingly. If it does not resonate with your sun sign, that's okay. Take with you only what is yours and leave the rest behind. And check your moon rising or Venus placements if you think you might want a reading that will resonate a little bit better. But if it does resonate with you, that's cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given over the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine, guys. I'm just throwing down cards. I don't know who did what, what got done to who. It's just reading cards. Okay. I'm not here to point fingers. I'm here to give messages. Just keep that in mind, okay? Also, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa might play out from our friends, the cross watchers perspectives and our dear friends cross watchers are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table and I appreciate you guys coming in. I really do. I appreciate everybody that stops by and views. You guys are amazing. Okay, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you feel so compelled. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. If you feel like you want to, cool. If you don't, that's okay too. I'm, I'm not here to manipulate anyone. So I'm just here to give the best possible messages that are not sugar-coated for people. Okay? I'm not a sugar-coater. Never have been. I don't even sugar-coat anything for my kid. It's honesty... And seeing it as I see it, that's all it is. Okay. Hit the like button if you feel so compelled. I am not going to twist your arm. If you feel like you have a friend or family member that could benefit from seeing the reading, share it. If you want to. I'm not going to twist your arm, okay? All right, I'm like two and a half minutes in. I got to shut my pie hole and start throwing down some cards here. All right. Air signs first. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. What is going on with you guys this weekend, October 3rd and 4th? What's going on? Okay. What's happening? Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 3rd and 4th. The Magician in the Page of Wands. <laughs> Manifesting communication, perhaps. Perhaps. Might be an interruption though. You see that lizard? You see the lizard in the way? Huh. Interesting. We might get a clarifier on that later. Okay. In the past... Could be distant, could be recent. Oh, there's a strength card. That's Leo. That's a fire sign. Ace of Pentacles. The seed, the slow growing seed of abundance was planted. Probably some trust. Trusted connection there. Wow. Okay. Slow growing seed of abundance. Trust was instilled. I 
I'm not sure if she's like bringing about chaos or if she's trying to hold it back. I don't know. Take it out of it resonates. Hmm. All right. What's going on right now? Right now. Oh my. Nine of Wands in the reverse and a Five of Pentacles. I don't know about that business, y'all. That looks like towels being thrown in. People being out in the cold. Giving up. What? What? What's your manifesting? Interruption. Oh, that's your lizard. That's your lizard. That's the lizard on the path. Huh. Okay. We're going to find out about that lizard here in a second. What's going on this weekend? Hmm. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ace of Wands. Oh no. Oh no, baby. Oh no, baby. Hmm. Upside, downside. All right, let's get some clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity for my air sign friends? Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 3rd and 4th. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. King of Wands in the reverse. No forward movement. Nothing's happening. There's a lizard. Some of you may be afraid to walk over that lizard. How big is the lizard? Just wondering. It's intimidation almost. Someone's trying to manifest something. Something's getting in the way. All right. Why is the strength card here? What's up with that? I like the Ace of Pentacles. I'm leaving it alone. I want to know about that strength card. What's up with that? Six Pentacles reversed. Slow growing seed of abundance planted, but things were not fair and equal. Trusting relationship. Things weren't fair and equal, though. No. Mm -mm. One more on that. King of Swords reversed. Things may have gotten a little bit emotional.
Sometimes just when you think something's going to go well, something comes along, doesn't it? The King of Swords is a talker, and sometimes he runs off at the mouth and says things he doesn't mean. Mm-hmm. I think that's what may have happened here. Somebody got a little bit of emotional and started running off at the mouth. Possibly some huge polarities in that relationship. I mean, trusted, but things weren't fair. Things weren't equal. The tornado came, I guess. Hmm. Somebody tried to hold off the tornado, but it just came. Because sometimes it takes both of you to hold it off. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. It's all about how we react to things, right? All right. Why is the Nine of Wands reverse chair? Hi. Ton of wands reversed. Well, that's a lot of wands. Burden's too big, too much to bear. Can't let it go. Throwing in the towel. It's just too much. It's just too much. It's just too much. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? This burden is just too much. I think somebody was carrying more of the burden than the other person. Things being unequal. Ace of Cups. Mm, one more. Three of Cups. Oh, man. Hmm. Not quite sure what happened here. I... Take this however it resonates, but this is just what I'm compelled to say because it's what I'm hearing, it's what I'm feeling. Obviously, somebody got booted out into the cold. I'm not sure if this is a third-party situation, be it somebody left the situation for someone else, or if friends got involved and stuck noses in where they didn't belong. There's lots of different, different... Lots of different definitions for a third party situation. It does not necessarily mean somebody's cheating. Okay, let's make that clear right now. But somebody got left out in the cold because somebody decided to either give or take a cup from somebody else. Okay. This weekend, someone is having some self-worth issues with this Queen of Pentacles reverse. That's the vibe I'm feeling off of that. Something tried to manifest... Something got in the way. Something didn't happen. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here? Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. The sun. Air signs, you have no reason to help self worth issues. No reason whatsoever.
because you still have plenty to offer. Why is the sun card here? I think the sun's about to shine in your life again. You're kind of tilted this way, and you're kind of tilted this way. I like it. I think the universe has something better coming for you. Something more abundant. Something that's going to see you for what you are, and see what you have to offer. Something that's going to restore balance. And you're going to come back out of the cold. But I think you're going to come back out of the cold with yourself. Because this... Oh, that's an idea. Hmm. Perhaps for some of you, whatever seed was up here, might decide it wants to grow again down here. You could come out of the cold with this person. Not sure if you'd want to or not, but it's your journey, your path, I don't judge. I think this is someone new though. I do. That's an ace of wands too. That's something whole new and different. Hmm. Why is the Ace of Wands here? I kind of like that. The world. Old chapters ending, new chapters beginning. We like new chapters, don't we? Yes, we do. We love new chapters. New chapters are good. Throw one more on that. I like it. I like it a lot. Happy for you. Okay, I'll take two. Why not? Knight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Darn it. Why'd the Queen of Pentacles reversed pop back up? I don't like that. Page of Pentacles reversed. Oh, okay. This splits the story a little. I think for a lot of you, this is going to be something new. It's going to close a chapter, open up a new one. For some of you, whatever this was up here... If it's an apology, it's not a wholehearted one. I'll tell you that right now. Maintain your self-worth, air signs. Maintain your self-worth. Oh, my. Wow.
Okay. Well, let's get some advice. I'm not too sure about that. And I don't want to beat a dead horse to death. Maintain your self-worth. Don't let somebody come in making you feel like garbage. No. That ain't cool. The chariot in the upright and the nine of swords in the reverse. <clears throat> you need to put the necessary distance between you and whatever this was. And don't stay all up in your head about it. Maintain your self-worth. Don't let them drag you down. That's not okay. You know you're the cat, Jair Signs. You know you are. You are one hell of a catch, and somebody's going to see you for the hell of a catch that you are. And if the Joker comes back, decides they see you for the catch that you are, just maintain. Do what you need to do. You already know what you need to do. Ace of Wands reverse, Star reverse. Some of you may not have healed from this yet. Okay, so tread carefully, and if you feel that you are not ready to move forward, don't. If you think you need more time to heal, by all means do. Because if you fail to heal and just jump to the next chapter, what's going to happen? I think we both know what's going to happen, because it's happened to us over and over and over again. You just go through the same cycle of madness. You want to stop the cycles of madness. Allow yourself time. Be good to yourself and allow yourself time to heal air signs. Okay. Cool beans. Sometimes it just doesn't always work out. These things happen, y'all. These things happen. Okay. next okay uh, air water wow my cards be all mixed up don't know how that happened okay water signs cancer Scorpio Pisces October 3rd and 4th 2020 cancer Scorpio Pisces October 3rd and 4th 2020 Swords and Temperance could be an air sign you're dealing with, could be a Sagittarius. I think messages of truth are going to level an energetic playing field. It's going to improve how y'all deal with each other this weekend. That's okay. It's always good to improve a situation, isn't it? Mending ways, perhaps. What happened? Three of Swords reversed and an Ace of Wands. Coming out of a state of heartbreak. Going, finding something new. Striking out on a new path. Doing your thing. Right on. What happened after that? What's going on right here, right now? Right here, right now. Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords. Oh boy. Just clicked for somebody, didn't it? Just clicked for somebody. Could have overheard a conversation or saw something on a social media post. Could have. And I don't know if the Seven of Swords is a realization of secrets. 
It could be. It's not inverted though. We'll throw a clarifier on it. Huh. I think it's definitely connected though. Definitely connected. Did you know if you go far enough south, you eventually end up going north again? Did you know that? Did you know that? And vice versa, if you go north far enough, eventually you start driving south. Wrap your head around that one. It's happening this weekend. Four of Swords in the reverse, Page of Wands in the reverse. Restless energy and a cut off in communication. What just happened? Okay. What just happened? Why is the Seven of Swords here? I'm only going to clarify the ones I'm curious about today. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why are you giving me 20 cards? Okay, you only gave me two. Eight of Swords, Knight of Wands reversed. One more. Page of Swords and the Magician. Well, okay. This may be a little bit consuming right now. Could cause a little bit of restless energy too. Yeah, more than likely. That's why that makes sense. Maybe a communication, maybe that temperance card is peace. Sometimes the only way to improve communication between people is to cut it off. That happens sometimes, too. That totally makes sense. You are about to find something out. You are about to find out that puppet strings have been being pulled. Could very well be yes. About to find out the truth. It may come indirectly. It may come indirectly. This is indirect. The Page of Swords is often a third party messenger. Just keep that in mind. But it's all going to connect in your head. And it causes a little bit of restless energy and a cutoff in communication, too. Why is four swords here? Page swords, page swords. Ten of pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. 
one more. That's like the enchilada of apologies. The tower. You're upset. You're restless. I'm getting a sense that somebody's going to get bought some shiny stuff to try to make up for whatever this was. And that's just going to send the tower crashing down the rest of the way. Yeah. But I have so much to offer you. There it goes. Page of Wands, cut off in communication. One card, please. Ten of swords upright, six of swords reversed, two of cups reversed, eight of pentacles reversed. disconnect, no longer putting work in, ending the cycle of pain. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? Knight of Cups. This return is just going to send the tower crashing down and then the communication. Somebody's just going to throw their hands up and say, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with the swords in my back. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. We're done. That's how I'm seeing that. And peace will be restored. Sometimes you just got to throw down the gauntlet. Sometimes the tower's got to fall for peace to come. Sometimes the restless energy has to come for peace to come immediately after. And it is what it is, right? Seven of cups in the reverse in the world. No matter what cup you choose, it doesn't matter what cup at this point, the cycle is going to end. Something is going to come to an end. There's nothing you can do at this point. So the best way to play this out is just allow whatever to be to be. And understand that sometimes you're not the one that chose the wrong cup. So be careful what cup you choose.
Four of Pentacles in the upright, Knight of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Some of you might be saying to yourself, why did I listen? Why did I listen? Don't hold on to those negative emotions. This was meant to end. Don't keep going over the what ifs in your head because it is what it is. The universe reveals to us what we need to see in time. And usually it's right on time. There's no such thing as a wrong path. There is no such thing as a wrong cup. You choose what you choose and you do what you do because that is what you were predestined to do. Let me get another one off of this. Seven Pentacles reversed in judgment. Some things were not meant to grow. And it doesn't matter how long you wait. It was not meant to grow. I think this ended a while ago. I do. And for whatever reason, it came crawl. Those feelings came crawling back again. You... you you have to let what will be will be. You have to allow time to pass. You have to allow yourself to heal. And you can't keep going over the what ifs. Hang man in the page of wands. Accept it for what it is and move forward. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Okay, water signs. This has been your messages. Another weather alert. I don't know if you guys have caught... I, I, was it the Sagittarius or the Pisces reading? It may have been the Pisces reading I was talking about. Might have been Cancer. I don't know. I did a bunch of readings today. But I was talking about weather alerts. <laughs> My local news station insists on telling me like 20 times that there's a weather alert for tonight. <clears throat> Just want to make sure you get it. They text me. They email me. And of course, you know, this is beautiful neither in Michigan, so... The weather changes every five minutes around here. You never know what you're going to get into. Okay, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's going on with you guys on the 3rd and 4th of October? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 3rd and 4th. 2020. Page of Swords reversed in the King of Cups. Y'all ain't talking, but you got the feels for each other by the looks of things. There's deep emotion here, but nobody's saying anything. This is a theme with you guys. What happened? Page of Wands, King of Wands. Could have been confrontation, could have been a whole lot of little something something going on, know what I'm saying? Could have been very passionate and progressed very quickly. Could have been some confrontation involved. We'll throw clarifiers on it in a minute. Here and now. Here and now. Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands. Holy Wands! Whoa! Holy Wands. I shuffled. You guys saw me shuffle. 
You guys saw me shuffle. And I'm taking them off the top and the bottom. Burdens are about to be released. People getting stuff off the chest. It's like in process in this moment. It may happen in a kind of a confrontational way, too. She looks very confrontational right now. Wow. What's going on this weekend? Lovers in the reverse, seven of cups in reverse. deep emotion someone's not acknowledging it there's confusion coming in this weekend let's sort it out universe source and spirit can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for my fire sign please fire sign friends please Aries Leo Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus October 3rd and 4th whoa dang there's a lot of fire on this board right now what Nine of Pentacles. Could be some codependency involved. You know, emotion and codependency are often, lame, often mistaken for one another. And that's a slippery slope to slide down. It can be very dangerous when you depend on someone for your emotional well-being. You need to find emotional well-being within yourself. Hmm. All right. Why is the page of wands here? Two of swords reversed. A painful decision had to be made. Messages of passion, painful decisions being made. Somebody got stuck at the crossroads or in the crosshairs, one of the two. Why is the King of Wands here? High Priestess, confrontational, egos got in the way, possibly. Someone did not make an intuition-based decision. Someone made an ego-based decision. Okay. One more. One more to tie that all together for my fire sign friends. Four swords reverse. Y'all got restless. Y'all got restless. All right, what's going on right now? Why's Town Wands here? <laughs> I like how that just kind of stopped. Releasing a burden, not wanting to put work into something anymore. Why's Queen of Wands here? Nine of Cups reversed. Confrontation, kicking people's cups over. Or, or perhaps, perhaps, releasing a burden, 
not wanting to put work into something anymore because you're just not happy. I'm going to throw one more on that Queen of Wands. Nine of Swords reversed. Releasing the burden, not wanting to put the work in, just not happy. Probably going a little bat crap bonkers for some of you. Tie it together, please. One to tie it together. One to tie it together. Seven of Pentacles. One more. How long do you wait for something to fruit? Net of cups reversed before you just take your cup and go elsewhere. Kind of in a state of I want to wait this out, but I'm not happy. I don't feel like putting work into this. It's very burdensome. I'm going back crap crazy, and I just want to go. <laughs> That's where you're at right now. There's kind of, yeah, things, are, things might be hot. Things might be passionate, but again, I'm going to say it again. There's more to a relationship than that. Especially a codependent one. Oh, yeah. Especially a codependent one. Hmm. All right, this weekend, why is the lovers reversed here? Oh, wow, it gave me four. Death, four of pentacles. Give me five. Six of swords reversed, two of cups reversed, knight of swords reversed. Allowing change to come. Why is the Seven of Cups here? King of Wands reversed. And confusion. Not moving forward. One more. Ten of Swords. It all ends. Could be a very confusing ending. And a confrontation. Maybe someone's mulling over or is going to mull over whether they made the right choice. The sun will shine again. The cycle is ending. It's not going to be pretty. This is like chapter ending, chapter beginning stuff. The connection is still there. You still have feelings for each other. It's just it's not working anymore. Cutting off communication. You're definitely holding... You're holding on. You're holding on to the feelings and the emotions associated to it. With it. But... Because it's codependent. 
disconnecting nonetheless. One on that Six of Swords. Why Six of Swords here? Good grief, fire signs, you're killing me. Confrontation, Five of Wands. Some of you may be coming to the conclusion that if we keep this going, it's just going to... The fighting's not going to stop. I think some of you would just assume the fighting stop. Constantly kicking each other's cups over, waiting for something to come of this. Let's get your advice. Wow. Well, High Priestess in the reverse, Magician in the reverse. No matter how hard you try, no matter how strong the connection, sometimes it just does not work out. It just doesn't. And when you allow your egos to make decisions for you, or you allow one of the three to make a majority of the decisions, that's not balanced, that's not healthy, that's not good. You have to find a happy medium with your head, your heart, and your intuition. Or you get the codependency crap. And you get the puppet strings and the manipulation. And that's not healthy either also goes hand in hand with the codependency crap. It's the difference between I want you in my life and I need you in my life. What does the word need mean? What does it mean to you? Why do you need that person? Because if you need that person for your emotional well-being, that's not necessarily healthy. It's not. The Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. It's time to get a handle on things and start working on you. Okay. That's how I'm seeing it. Fire signs is how I'm seeing it. You need to regain control and start working on bankroll, whatever it is you need to work on, whatever it is you need to accomplish. There you go. Old cycles end, new cycles begin, chapters close for new chapters to start. There you go. That's what I have for you, my fire sign friends. <laughs> Earth signs. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. going on for you guys this weekend, huh? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's gonna get cold tonight. Oh, uh, do you hear that? It's raining again. Second monsoon season here. It gets really, really wet right before it freezes. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 3rd and 4th, 2020. Any messages for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 2020. <coughs> Seven of Swords and the Chariot.
Could be a cancer you're dealing with. Could be an air sign. Hmm. Secrets, lies, deception, or plans. What's going on? Hmm. Okay. Perhaps someone is being distant and secretive. Or was. The past could be distant, could be recent. The Tower and the Four of Pentacles. It all came crashing down, didn't it? Huh. I think you tried to hold on, but you just couldn't. Throw a clarifier on that in a second. Here and now. Here and now. The Lovers and the Six of Cups. Connection, a connection nonetheless. Very powerful. But left you with a bad taste in your mouth. This weekend, Empress reversed in the world. I think I see where this is going already, but I'm not calling it yet. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my earth sign friends, please? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 3rd and 4th. Clarity, please. Thank you, source. Thank you, spirit. Oh, wow. Seven of Cups. Secrets, lies, deception, distance. Secrets, lies, deception, distance. One more on that, please. Three of Cups reversed. I was afraid of that. Three from seven is four. Four is the coulda, woulda, shoulda. You're going to find out why somebody was distant. All. Oh, man. I just feel like there's an elephant sitting on my chest right now. Why is the tower here? King of Pentacles. Seven of 
Somebody, Queen of Swords reversed. Somebody may have had a bigger and better offer come in. Somebody may have chosen a bigger, fuller cup. The tower came crashing down. They may have had a sour attitude about things too. I don't think that ended well at all. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Holding on to something. Holding on to passion. Still holding a torch for this person. Hi, the hanged man. You're emotionally hung up. And those things, even though things are stagnant, you still hope to rebuild the tower. That you did. You did. Why is the lovers here? King of Wands, there's that torch again. Hot, fiery, passionate, possibly very confrontational connection between you. Ten of Pentacles. connection that someone wants to invest in. But there's sour feelings. Why is six cups here? I'm not taking 20 cards. Justice popped its head out though in the reverse. Star card comes out in the reverse. Haven't healed from it yet. There's sour feelings. It wasn't fair. Strength reversed. You gave everything you could to it. You're drained. You just, you can't, you can't do it. But the thing is, you'd still do it. You can't fight the tower. Sometimes no matter how hard you try, you can't fight the tower from falling and you can't rebuild it once... Once the dust settles, and I think this weekend you're going to come to that conclusion, friends. Empress reversed. Why is the Empress reversed here? This is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking. Hi, friends. High Priestess reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. There's no hope for growth here. This is an equal. Yes, I still feel the connection, but the connection's gone. It, it's not as strong as it used to be. Someone is ignoring their in intuition regarding the issue. It might not be you. It might be the other person. Let's throw one more on that. Two of Pentacles, you're just trying to restore balance where there isn't any. 
that's the getting yourself back into alignment and the world so the end of a cycle to begin anew why is the world here I am not taking 20 cards the five of swords was on top of that we'll see if it comes back out you may just have to pick up the pieces after the battle and move forward. Empress upright, Ten of Swords upright. That's self-growth and self-love. That's the end of a cycle. Allowing that pain to pass and the sun to shine again and move towards something that does have hope for growth. One more. Queen of Pentacles upright, King of Cups in the reverse. It's okay to not give or receive cups. It's okay. But just know you are a catch. And when you see that in yourself, other people will see it in you. That's amazing. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. If whatever this is decides to come back around and then it's not fair and it's not equal. Let me get. Seven of Wands upright, Three of Wands in the reverse. You best just be like, you know what? Um, no. Mm. The only way you're coming back to me is if things are fair and things are equal. So you got to take charge and not wait around for something when it's just going to be the same old stuff. But, you know, it's up to you. You play the game however you want. I'm just reading cards. King of Swords reversed and the Two of Cups. Hmm. Your heart will lead you to the connection that you're supposed to be in. And if your heart doesn't do it, your intuition will do it. Stop overthinking it. The Fool in the Reverse and the Page of Cups in the Reverse. Don't trust every cup that comes your way because you don't necessarily know what's in the cup. And I think this is a, this is a lesson that somebody in this situation is learning right now. Be mindful of what is in the cup. All right. Thank you, friends. I appreciate you stopping by. Love you to bits. I think I'm going to just relax and breathe for a little while. I've read lots of cards today, so I might just take a break for about 10 hours, go to my bread and butter job, <laughs> come home tonight. If I'm feeling froggy enough, I'll do another reading or two. If I'm not feeling froggy enough, I will just pick it up tomorrow night when I get home. We'll see what happens. Okay. I love you. Be blessed. This is what happened last time. There we go. Be good to yourself. Be good to one another. And I'll catch you guys uh, possibly this weekend for some of your monthly sun sign readings. Possibly catch on Monday for the work week top and bottom. We'll see how it goes. Okay. 
be blessed. And I'll catch you later.